In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a video to submit to the D2L Dropbox. Now, you certainly can upload a video file that you've recorded either from your computer or from a mobile device, but sometimes those files get really big and sometimes they might be in a file format that your instructor can't view. So the safest way to submit something to the Dropbox to make sure that your instructor can view it is to use the built-in record a video option right within the Dropbox. And it's worth noting that you can also use this for audio as well. Um, just because it's a video doesn't mean you necessarily have to show anything in the video. It can just be the sound that you're recording. So to do this, we're going to start by going to the Dropbox. Um, your navigation bar in your course might look a little different from this. Wherever you have access to the Dropbox tool is where you want to go. And you go to the Dropbox assignment that you need to submit to. And there might be some instructions here. There might be a rubric, as is the case here. Um, or it might just start with the Submit File screen. Regardless, you just want to find this Record Video button. If you were just uploading a video file, that would be the Add a File button. But since we're actually going to go ahead and record our video within the Dropbox, I'm going to click Record Video. Now, this is a screen that might take just a little bit of time. The first time you do it, you may have to do some permissions to enable and allow your web browser to actually talk to your webcam. Oftentimes, depending on the browser you'll use, there might be a little warning message that pops up in the corner, or you may have to go in and like enable flash or, or do some enabling to get that to talk and the video camera and D2L to talk nicely. If you have problems with that the first time, um, don't hesitate to ask the help desk. They can get you set up with that. However, once all of that is working properly and you have the D2L system talking to your webcam, you're going to see something like this. Right now I've got my webcam just pointed at my wall. You can see my D2L moves in my little picture there. Um, it could be your face if it was a video recording or you can record essentially anything that you want or even cover up the camera. I'm going to go ahead and start recording. So now this is actually recording me talking. If I wave my hand in front of the webcam, you can see that it's recording that. Once you are done, you hit stop recording. And then you can see it automatically starts to play. You do have a limit of five minutes on the video recording, but you can t do as many takes of that as you want. So let's say I didn't like what I did there. I could go ahead and hit new recording and I'm doing the same thing again. There's my little hand in front so we can see that it's a video um, and I can take as many attempts as I want. It only does keep the last attempt though. That's something that's worth noting. When you're all done, stop recording. And I'm doing the same thing. Hit pause if you don't want it to auto play. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click add takes a little bit to process. You do want to give your video a title. This is just kind of used to identify it in the system. So maybe it's your name and the date. You don't necessarily need a description. And then you can see that link right there tells me that the video file is available. I can add comments if I want. Um, video file attached. And then I hit submit. And then what this is going to look like to my professor is a link that they can open and it's just going to play right there in their web browser. And it's really easy to view that you don't have to do any file conversion. It will give you the option to download the file if you want, but it just plays really nicely within D2L. This is definitely the way I would recommend um, uploading videos if you have to submit them for assignments, if it's not something that needs to be edited, and if it's something that is five minutes or less.